Hello and welcome to my channel Mr TripAdvisor. Today we're in the amazing little village of Berlin in Kent. Um, it's January but it's unseasonally warm and sunny. So we're going to explore some of the footpaths around this old little village and I'll put the information below if you'd like to do some of these walks. Don't forget to subscribe. So you've got free parking at the back of the church and the white building in the distance over there, Berlin still has a pub. Hooray! So behind the car park is so many different walks. So we're going to explore and follow some of these paths and see where we end up. So when we've been here before we've seen people walking in all sorts of different directions so this whole area must be crisscross with uh, footpaths. So we're just going to follow our nose, say so it's a lovely sunny day, it's not too windy yet. So we're all down the hill, we're looking back now at Berlin Church. Oh, this is just such a great feeling of being outdoors. Covid has had us cooped up for too long. Just to have the space, the sunshine and the big sky. I hope you can come out and enjoy this walk. Actually, so we've just walked down the hill, we've come to the first junction and footpaths with people on them. We're going off in three different directions. But the first little surprise you have is as you skip over here, we come to water. So we went right at the little stream we found and still pretty even in winter we've come to this water to the lakes here.
There's certainly lots of building material here, rocks and bricks and stuff that seem to have been moved by a digger. And then we've got this uh, strange structure at the end there. Well, if you know what this was, please leave me a message below. It doesn't look like something from the Second World War, and I can't believe this would be an area that would have to be fortified anyway. But it's like a two-skinned, very old brick building, almost like a brick igloo. Very strange. As you come in a bit closer, then um, it's not quite what I thought. It's much deeper, although it's got a fair bit of rubble and old bikes and things now in the bottom there. I wonder if this actually was somewhere that they used to store ice because we've seen similar things in some of the stately homes that go deep down like that. It's certainly of the right age but again if you know a bit more about this outskirts of Berlin please leave me a message. Now we should come round the back from that strange building there's been a lot of earth movement and we've even got I think this is what that's uh, an old metal detector. I recognise that. There's a C-scope from many years ago. And that's a, someone's come out of a metal detector and left it there. But you've got lots of bricks, ridge tiles, um, bits of metal. So we've definitely had buildings here that have been almost ploughed into the soil. A lot of rubble you can see. Some of the maps do show a lost village over here, although I haven't been able to find that today. I did see that once when I was walking here. Whether this is what's left of the lost village, I don't know. But someone's certainly been very busy with an excavator. They've been down here with their backhoe. There's just weirder and weirder stuff here. It looks like this would be the runoff from the lake there, but it's although winter it's dry at the moment. Yeah, this is an amazing walk. I'm just following the line of the, the stream, although it's dried up at the moment. Right on the edge of the field. I think it's worth just having another quick pan back to the village of Berlin. Past the ice house or whatever that was we found earlier. And a lot of spoil from I think some older buildings you just see in the distance over there that's the church looking back towards Berlin so uh, we've sort of gone east I suppose One of the things we've noticed on our walk today is about half a dozen what were presumably helium balloons that have just ended up here, trapped in the fields or whatever. I mean, it's such a tragedy when you hear that actually helium is very important for things like MRI scanners and we are running out of helium. And it's all being put in kids' balloons and then ends up getting munched by cattle or just polluting the countryside. I think we need to find a different way to do those. It's another one of these changes that future populations will have to make, I think, the end of the helium balloon. So we've come back up uh, to the almost the start and we're now heading a bit more northwards on another footpath towards the South Downs. This one's uh, much wider and a bit more well trodden. Okay, so we're going to go through this old kissing gate here and uh, down the side between the fields with the horses.
so uh, we're now heading north and we're going to hit the main road a little while and take a left and then go back to Berlin where the car is. So this is turning out to be a somewhat steeper hill than we had anticipated. Well, that's good for the heart, I guess. Okay, so we're just dropping down the other side of the hill now. We can hit the main road, well, I'll say main road, uh, main road ish, and go left here and head back towards Berlin, hoping we don't meet any traffic. If you need to find this look, Neggy Lane. So this one I think is a, a wedding or conference venue. And a couple of different entrances off this road. We can see some brown signs at the bottom which hopefully are saying this way folk to Berlin. So we're still on the road, lots of footpaths. That one says Holly Hill, public open space. We're in Stangate Road uh, and then Slodden Road heading back down towards Berlin. As we're heading back on the road to Berlin, there's footpaths going off in all directions and I think we're a bit higher up now on that stream we saw earlier. It looks like it's been piped on the road here. Okay, so we've made it to the back of the church, to the graveyard. Car park is on the other side. You see it through there. And we can just cut across here. So if you ever wondered where Christmas trees go to die, well, say we're in Berlin Cemetery, and that one is actually looking almost as fresh as when it was picked. It's certainly better than the one that was in Trafalgar Square for Christmas 2021. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Do check out, have a wander around here. There are so many footpaths, so many lovely things to see. Please like, share and subscribe, and come back every week for a lot more fun here on Mr TripAdvisor. Now we've completed a big loop of that area, uh, that was around 6,000 steps. <laughs>